Superior Drummer and Logic Pro X. Today I'm going to show you how to use Superior Drummer within Logic and more specifically how to use the multi-output mode to send all the channels within Superior Drummer to their own channels in Logic. So you can mix it like you would a regular multi-mic drum kit or you can just send buses or any combination of things that you want to make Superior Drummer way more flexible and easier to use within your Logic workflow. If you're interested in this type of content, please make sure you like and subscribe because it really helps the channel to grow and I'm going to get started. So if you happen to catch my video from last week where I talk about addictive drums with Logic, this video is going to be the same type of thing where I'm just showing Superior Drummer within Logic. So if this is your drum plugin of choice and you want to actually figure out how to use it properly, then be sure to check this out. So by default, if you open up Superior Drummer in your track, it's going to load a stereo output mode. So basically everything within Superior Drummer, all of these channels, they all go through to output one and two, which is the main output within Logic. You can see this is running in stereo mode and you just get one channel that all your drums come through. You're probably already familiar with stereo operation. This is great for anything simple, like you're demoing tracks or you just need drums like right now. Um, there's not a lot of flexibility with it and it requires you to do all of your like drum mixing per se within the plugin. And then anything like bus processing you want to do, you can either do in the plugin, on the bus, or on Logic's bus. But I call it bus, it's just the output of the plugin. So I'm going to show you how to set it up in multi-output mode. If you're not familiar with multi-output mode, it's basically where your one instance of the plugin, your one use of the plugin, actually sends to multiple channels within Logic. So, you know, your kick goes down a channel, your snare goes down a channel, instead of it all just going to the main stereo channel from the plugin. If that doesn't make sense, just keep watching. It'll make sense in a minute. So to load it in multi-output mode, instead of clicking stereo, when you go to load it, you're going to click multi-output. And it'll tell you right here how many channels the plugin will allow in multi-output mode. So this says 16 stereo channels. So once you do that, nothing happens. It's like, what the heck? But you have to hit X to go into the mixer and you'll see this little plus sign right here. So it allows us to have 16 stereo channels. So I'm going to add 16 stereo channels which lets you add 15. So there's 15 auxes and then the original stereo channel is the first one. And if you look up here, you'll see the input is Superior Drummer. And then all of these say Superior Drummer 3, 4, uh, Superior Drummer 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way through. So this is where these channels will receive routing from Superior Drummer. So in order to route this, because just by default, just because you set up the channels doesn't mean anything's going to go there. You have to route it within Superior Drummer. So if you click on Superior Drummer, and it, it gives me the pinwheel every time I open it, down here along the bottom, these outputs, this is what tells Logic which channel will receive it. So your default is output one and two, and that's just your main stereo output, this guy over here. But say we want our snare... We could do snare top and snare bottom. We want that to go to output three and four. We can send hi-hat to five and six. And then why don't we send all the toms to seven and eight? Something like that, that'll give you a basic idea. And then if I hit play. So now we have our snares coming through three and four. Our hi-hat is coming through five and six. All of our toms are coming through seven and eight. So depending on how you want to set this up is kind of up to you. So the most granular way to do this, kind of this, I don't want to say simplest, but the most, um, the most control, the most flexibility that you'll have is to send every single channel within Superior Drummer to its own bus. So I'm going to send, just start here and go all the way down and increase it one at a time. So kick in is going to go to one and two, kick out is going to go three, four, kick sub is going to go five, six. So you get the idea. We are just ordering them all the way up. Okay. All my channels are routed. If I hit play now, you'll see stuff coming down all of these. At least the ones that have stuff going on. And if you want bleed, like you want it to sound like drums in the other room, you can hit enable bleed from all instruments. And then it'll sound 
really just like a drum kit in, in the good and the bad ways. So I'd recommend once you do this, labeling everything. So just running through and naming all these channels in Logic to match what they say up here so you know kind of what's going on. So snare top, snare bottom. We've got hi-hat. Let's see. Tom one, Tom two, Tom three. Tom four, Tom five, overhead dynamic, overhead condenser, and then we've got RM, we'll just go one, two, and three. So now all of this should match up. Got your hi hat there. You've got all your overheads, room mics. And the only thing to note about this is whatever panning you have set up in Superior Drummer, that is going to carry over to your Logic channels. So if you want it all going right up the middle so you can fully pan it in Logic, you just need to come here and you can option click all the pans to make sure they're all centered. And you can leave the stereo stuff hard pan unless you just want a mono room for one of them. Um, so now they're all coming down the middle and you can pan them yourself. And then if you highlight all of these, right click and hit create track or control T then it will create tracks for those in Logic so you can see them in your arrangement view like you're used to seeing tracks. If you then want to capture all these and put them back in a bus for easy processing in Logic, you can select them all, hit Shift-Command-D, and hit Summing Stack. And this is just going to create a bus, a summing stack, like folder for them. So you can open it up and see what's going on, close it. And then this also grabs all of your outputs from here and assigns them to a new bus right here. So all of these are going out to bus 33. This track stack is getting the sound from bus 33 and then sending it to the stereo output. So this is where you could do your, you know, your bus EQ or your bus compression for all of your drums as a whole outside of the plugin. And the only other thing to note in this configuration is you can use the faders in Superior Drummer to gain stage in Logic. Um, and by gain stage, I just mean make sure you're hitting minus 12 on your channels. So if we look at, say, kick in, that's hitting at minus 12, kick out. That's low, so you could push this up a little bit. Now that's hitting where it should. Maybe snare. That's loud. Pull it down a little bit. So that's a way you could kind of go through and get rough levels so that once it hits logic, it's exactly where you want it. If you're used to like mixing audio, for instance, and someone hits you with Superior Drummer, that's how you would set it up. I have a couple other options in case you don't want to fully break out the channels like this. So I will create a new one and show you. So we'll call this a uh, full channel breakout. So go ahead and hit plus. We're going to add a new software instrument, add another superior drummer in multi-output mode. And say for this one, you just kind of want a bus for each thing. So you want a kick bus, a snare bus, tom bus, overheads, and room. So like, what was that? Five buses? I can't count, but that's fine. The way you would do that is go into the mixer here. And instead of sending channels to outputs, we're going to send them to buses within Superior Drummer. So Superior Drummer lets you use 16 buses for internal routing. So we're going to send all the kicks to bus 1, all the snares to bus 2. We will send the hi-hat and overheads to bus 3. Actually, I'm going to do bus 4 for those. All the toms go to bus 3. And then all the rooms can go to bus 4. And then if you scroll over here, you'll see these buses have been created. So then you can label them kick, snare, toms. 
I just call it overheads and I put my symbols in there, but you can set it up, you know, any little way that you want and go from there. And now these buses all have separate outputs. So if we want to send our kicks to output one, our snares to output three and four, toms to five and six, overheads to seven and eight, room to nine and 10. I apologize if I'm going fast. I just want to breeze through this in case you want the answer quickly. Um, so I got those going one through five. And then I'm going to come down here and just add four more auxes. So now you can see three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so this is going to be kick, snare, toms, overheads, and rooms. And then you got to pull your MIDI over so that something can happen on that channel. And now if we look in the mixer at this, we have all of our mics kind of coming through in one spot. So if you just wanted like your drums as groups coming over to Logic so you can compress them or like say you want to sidechain stuff to the kick or the snare, you can set it up this way and then you're not dealing with a whole array of channels and you can do your overall balancing and mixing with the levels in Superior Drummer. For instance, if we wanted more snare top, less snare bottom, you just set that balance in Superior Drummer and that's what your channel gets. That's a lot of sound. And again, you can gain stage with this. So if we go to overheads, there's a lot of hi-hat, we'll pull that down. So then you set a balance that you like and then you're rolling. That's another kind of simpler way to do it. And then the other note I have is literally you can do anything you want. So if you want, let's say, all of your kick elements separate, like your kick and snare elements separate, you can do that. So we'll send kick to one, next kick to three, four, sub kick to five, six, snare to seven and eight, snare bottom to nine and 10. Those are separate, but say you still want all your toms grouped so you don't have to deal with those separately. You know, we'll send those to our tom group and we will send our tom group out to whatever's next. I think it's 11 and 12. Yeah, 9, 10, 11 and 12 there. And same thing with overheads and rooms. We still want those. So we'll do 13, 14 and 15, 16. And then these we don't want an output on. You can just hit none. So now we'll have all of our you know, close mics on the kick and snare going to their own channels, but then a group for toms, a group for overheads and rooms. So I'll set that up now. We need a few more channels. So then you can, you know, do kick in, kick out, kick sub, snare top, snare bot. And this is going to be toms. And this is going to be overheads and this will be rooms. So now you have all of your like close mics that are really important as individual channels. So you can compress them, EQ them, whatever. And then just all the toms, overheads, rooms, like arguably less important stuff over in their own groups. Not as important. Don't waste as much time on it. And then again, you can highlight all these and hit create track, which is control T or, you know, click it in the menu. And now again, you've got kind of a hybrid breakout. So I'll highlight all these, hit shift command D, and we'll call this hybrid breakout. And put an SD on front of these. And then finally, if you want to save either of these configurations as a preset that you can recall in other Logic sessions, just select the, the main track stack channel and come over here and hit save. I mean, you can go to user patches and hit save. And then SD full channel breakout, save it. And then same thing here, SD hybrid breakout. Come over here to user patches, save it, save it, save it. And now you can delete both of these to prove your point. <laughs> and then just go to user patches and you can grab one of those immediately. So if you're doing a mix and you're like, I really need my full channel breakout, you know, boom, full channel breakout. It's exactly how you set it up. 
it all goes everywhere. Um, or, you know, if you're like, well, changed my mind, I just want the hybrid breakout, like make it a little simpler, you can come already like that. So I hope that's helpful. I know I was super excited when I figured out how to do all that because it's a huge time saver and gives you a lot more flexibility over your channels. If that was helpful, please let me know down in the comments or if you have any additional questions, you can feel free to ask away. If you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me to learn more about Superior Drummer or Logic or anything music production or mixing related, I'll have a link down in the description and you can go reach out and schedule that. Again, please make sure you like and subscribe because it helps the channel to grow and helps other people to find this content so they can learn from it as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later. <laughs>